last one. It was just a courtesy. Right. But now they... Go. Good evening and welcome to the June 11th, 2014 Communication Commission meeting. It is, uh, we, uh, we are opening at 7.05. Well, welcome everyone. Uh, has everybody had a chance to look at the uh, agenda as presented? Yes. yes. Are there any uh, amendments or would, would I uh, entertain a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the agenda as pre presented. Thank you. And second? I'll second. I'll second. And Sharon seconds it. Thank you very much. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Nay. Aye. All right. It has passed our agenda. I'm going to have to handwrite because I can't open this up. So. Okay. And we will be a little slower. <laughs> so um, it has been approved. Lauren moved. And, and Richard second? Richard is correct. Okay. Great. Oh, yeah, sorry. Either way, at the same time. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Toss a coin. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okey doke. Um, let's see now. Has everybody had a chance to look at the minutes? Yeah. Are there any additions or corrections? No. Do I have a motion to approve? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the May 14, 2014 meeting. One has a motion to approve, and second would be? Second, second is by jury. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. The motion is passed. Terrific. All righty. Uh, we're moving along, and now uh, we'll have a report of the board and standing committees. Uh, Mr. Fournier. just went through the busiest months of the year, um, mainly because of Island Fest. Uh, we had a very safe and productive Island Fest. Um, since we last, I made a list this evening, since the last time we got together, um, the productions that uh, myself and the crew have worked on, um, over the course of the last month we have worked on the fireworks. Uh, we provided a DVD for the mega screen that was in the Island Fest. 
Uh, we've worked on the Island Eye for Pan Perchy. We, we produced four segments for that. Uh, we did two kayak promos. Um, trying to read my own writing here, so I apologize. Uh, we, during the Island Fest, we taped the Children's Choir. We taped the Dance Girl Seal. We taped the junior, uh, the junior high or middle school jazz band, the high school jazz band. Uh, we taped, uh, I can't remember the initials, but the children's, uh, the kids rock and roll band on, on Sunday. Uh, we did the parade. We got uh, the car show. Um, we've got enough footage for three years of highlight tapes. <laughs> Um, we did a, uh, uh, it's tentatively called Megan's Go to Island Fest. Uh, we took the GoPro out and, ah. and taped another highlight show uh, based from the perspective of the, the GoPro camera, which is looking pretty interesting. Uh, we have about 10 new shows that have been played since the last time we got together, and we still, today, as of today, we have nine projects that we have to edit, which include the police uh, gun safety uh, feature we taped today, and the police, uh, well, actually four gun safety features that we taped today, and we also taped the uh, uh, police on the reserve and the uh, honor guard uh, that they have. Um, let me continue here. We produced, uh, we didn't produce, uh, Mr. Page produced a uh, feature on Grill Seal. It's 15 minutes long. Is it the Nature Conservancy that got us all the pictures, Jerry? Uh, that was for the Island Beautification Committee. All right. Um, it's got 104 pictures to music that we're running. Kind of like to just sit back and relax, listen to the music, and look at what's beautiful on Grill Seal. All right. That would be useful for the, uh, the website. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. um, yeah, he plan we plan on putting it on. We also did a piece on West Car Gardens that we're running. Uh, as of now, we also have one in the can on St. St. James Church and one on, um, oh, we went out on Memorial Day and tape boating. And it's just one of those pieces. If you have AT&T on there, a lot of their channels, you can just watch, you know, a feature on Southwest Texas or fish swimming and this has music and it has something to do with gross sales so we got a couple of those pieces done um i just mentioned the gun safety also uh jane fidel from the bike commission um she's been out working hard uh, promoting both the brick mm -hmm. sales and um they had a bike event so um, she produced a couple of videos, we're running those. And uh, in the last couple of days, I've had conversations coming up with, um, I, think, I think the lady's name is Jennifer Morris. She's producing a, uh, she wants to do a big homecoming event in October and she's starting a campaign to try to get as many girl seal people back for homecoming in court. I know she wants to work with the Island Fest Commission, I mean I've had the Festival Commission with uh, the Centennial Celebration, so she, I don't know if she's contacted you yet, but yet. I've uh, given her your information. Okay. Um, but she wants to make, so we're, good, we're starting to work with her and her campaign that she's calling Legacy. And uh, there was one more that I want, wanted to mention. Oh. The uh, Island Press Commission, as part of the uh, celebration, has uh, agreed to a historic program with uh, McPherson. Mr. McPherson, <laughs> and he's contacted me, and we, we've started production, on, uh, not production, pre-production talks and meetings and what we're going to do. So it's about 22 different uh, activities we've done since we last got together, and that's basically what we've been up to, and uh, that's basically my report. Couple of question. Um, there was a group. I think they were from Canada who had the hover helicopter, rubber helicopter that was taking pictures. Did they? Did you by any chance get introduced to them? If not, no, I haven't. Okay. Is that the ones that did was working with the uh, the, the cars? Yes. The fast track. No, we haven't. 
Well, we did get we did get the go cab go cab in the in the Ferrari and, oh, okay. and have a ride with the Ferrari. So. Oh, very good. Did you get to go? Oh, is that the fast? Oh, uh, my. Uh, I have to have a talk with her later this summer. My granddaughter was uh, sweet talking the carnies and any place that she wanted to take you know work with the crew and take pictures. So <laughs> the carnies gave her a free ride. So I might have to have a talk with her. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it sounds you've been very busy, Ted, as always. I have a small favor to ask. Is there air conditioning in this room? I have no idea. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> copying out, but I have been ordered not to touch anything as far as that. The weather, Thermostat so is concerned. I, Jerry and I are having hot flashes. <laughs> can we open the door? I love it. Sure. Can we open, if we can open the door, that might help. Always interesting. Yeah. Well, while we're uh, while Ted's busy doing that, uh, Mrs. Smith. Smith, would you um, like to give your report, please? Yeah, just a few things. Um, Island Fest, you know, obviously went very well, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I appreciate all the hard work that Ted and his crew put into it. I think um, that'll give us lots of promotional material for the future, which is great. Um, two other things is, um, you know, he mentioned the brick sale. If any of you guys have any uh, graduates or uh, nieces, nephews, grandkids. Well, I don't think anybody here is old enough to have grandkids. So. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they would make a great commemorative gift. Um, also want to remind everybody that the Centennial Celebration stickers are on sale at Township Hall and the Recreation Department for $1. And that's basically it. I'm keeping it brief. Well, thank you. And I, I personally want to say how much I enjoyed that Jumbotron at uh, Island Fest. I thought that was great. Mm -hmm. Something different. I, I really enjoyed uh, the whole way it looked. It was it was very nice. Uh, oh, just a um, Lauren. I just am typing away here. You said the Centennial Celebration stickers. Yep. A dollar a piece. One dollar. Yep. And at Township Hall. Township Hall as well as the Rec Department. Okay. Okay. Well, thank Chair you. Chairman's been busy uh, working on uh, a few things. I got a call from a gentleman from Skyweb who does Wi-Fi's for marinas. Out of the blue, he, uh, he somehow got my name and I met with him and they're gonna give us a bid. Again, something we need and as I'm, I'm finding out that uh, the marina is not as full as it used to be. So maybe a, a few amenities might help and this might be something that, you know, Wi-Fi might be the thing. So we're trying to collect more information and I have spoken with, with the, the other gentleman and he is diligently working on getting me a bid for uh, the commons at least because there is an event coming up in uh, July and it would be nice if we could have something in the commons for the people by then but well, you know it's it's a uh, it's right now something we're just looking into but I wanted to let everybody know that there are a lot of people out there that seem to be doing Wi-Fi more and more for marinas and other places and it'll it'll be interesting um, I did have a call from revise regarding uh, the site map and uh, we had a few questions about how things were pointed and I have, they already had our approval but I'm going to officially put it in writing and put a caveat in that if, if one of our pointers does not work, which they all do to my knowledge, we'll go through them again, uh, they will make sure they do work. And so that's really important that everything on the site map flows to a page. So we're working on that and um, Let's see what else. Status of progress. Da, da, da. Okay. Well, we'll just go into that. Uh, the inner page. I, I passed that out to everybody. I received it, uh, I think, Saturday. Uh, and uh, it looks a lot like our home page. And I'd like everybody's opinion on what you think of it and what you would like to see, or is this what you want to see? So why don't we start, at Sharon? Yeah, as you said, it looks very much like what we're already <laughs> looking at. I mean, I'd like to see something different. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Um, I mean, it's a beautiful picture, but I think we need some something else. Okay. Laura? Um, well, I expected the masthead to look the same, but I, ex I also expected um, an area for a photo, mm -hmm. multiple photos. Mm -hmm. um, something other than this and it surprises me that it's taken as long <laughs> to deliver this particular piece but um uh yeah 
Okay, I, I'm getting your drift. <laughs> And in fact, I think the reason I, I asked where it was when I got the call regarding the site map, I just said, by the way, how come if this is supposed to turn around so quickly, it's taking so long? And they right. said, well, you know, let me check into it. And suddenly that afternoon I got something. Hmm. So it, it was one of those, maybe somebody forgot. Yeah. But, you know, I try not to bug them. But uh, I agree with you about photos, but it's not my turn. Uh, Richard, please. Uh, I think photos would be very nice. If this is the, well, I would like to know what the font they're going with, because that's really important. I uh, mean for the filler, that filler, because that's just a, um, that's not the font they're going to use. That's okay. just a filler. That's that, what I wanted. Yeah, it's, it's Greek, I think. Uh, it's, it's a filler. They just grab it, and so it, it has no, no lazy, meaning. No meaning. So it the basic oh. basically then what we're seeing is is a mock-up font, but when it goes live, it'll be larger, easier to read. It'll be our the font. It'll be what we chose. What we okay. chose. Yes. <clears throat> and then, uh, do you know? I'm sorry. I don't. Are you done? I'm I am done. Okay. Um, I, this list of um thing the kind of a catalog list on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. Is that something they put together? Yes. And I'm wondering. There was nothing coming from me. None of this okay. came from me. Okay. All I said is we've approved it. I sent everybody sure. a copy, and right. I look forward to your second page. Okay. And this is what we got. In fact, I, if you'd like, I will read you. Uh, fill, file inner page JPEG added assigned uh, to change from Samir Alley to Kathy Walker. Hello, Kathy. We have the inner page ready. On the left side of each section, we will have its own navigation. On the right side will be where you add all your content Im image links and so on. Once we get the final approval on the inner page, we can then start with the development. Thanks, Samir. And I think I sent this to everybody also, if I'm not mistaken. You did? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, That's all we got. I, I think we need to maybe formalize this a little more like, you know, we want, uh, again, I'll, I'll, I'll finish my, my thing after you guys. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Uta? I'm just typing okay. away, so go on, Jerry. Uh, I looked at it, too. Um, I had the same comment as far as the background picture. I kind of was partial to uh, basically the same view, but 180 degrees opposite looking down the other way uh, mm -hmm. south. But I think they mentioned that it was something that we could change ourselves just throwing up background pictures. So I don't know if that's something that the background uh, pictures we can change. We're going to have that we have three background pictures, and that we can rot that will be rotating in and out. That we can choose, and I think we we did. I think I sent that a, a couple months ago. Which ones everybody liked? One, two, and three. We can change them with the season. We can change them whenever we want. But we do need to know where the place parts with the place holders. Let's say for the JPEG, like for for uh, the page for let's say the clerk's office. We want to have, you know, the, the you know, uh, Clerk Rankis picture there, and then his little bio, and then information, and then have availability to have multiple JPEGs depending on what they want to show, and then verbiage. So we have to know how much of that we can have. It's, I don't think it's, it, there's a limitation, and they didn't give us any parameters, and I think that's what we need, some parameters. Uh, would everybody agree on that, that terminology? Mm -hmm. <coughs> yes. Because right now they're just saying, well, we'll throw in some JPEGs. Well, well, how many will you throw in and, you know, what can we get? So um, I can gin something up and send it out to everybody and say, is this enough? Do you, you think we need more? And then ask them, what is the flexibility that we have with it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they could actually do like a, even if you, let's use the clerk's page as an example. Sure. You have a photo of Eric, right. you know, here. And then over here, you can even do a good. carousel of mm -hmm. other photos Something or a graphic. document mm -hmm. carousel. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. And, and even if it was a carousel of the documents, mm -hmm. just yeah. something, you know, right. to catch your eye. Right. All righty. And yeah, because I was... Uh, I think the word would be disappointed because <laughs> uh, this didn't didn't seem to have a lot of uh, effort put into it. Uh, but again, you know, we'll, we'll we'll work it through, and I will send it out to everybody, just giving some examples and then sending it back to them, and they can say, oh yeah, we you can do this or we can change it any way you want. But 
we don't know that from what we got right from mm -hmm. the, the you know the, the two sentences so yeah. and okay. I would say you know if you're getting stuff back from them that you think is is good and you want to send it to everybody and we need to okay. call an emergency meeting sure. to approve it you know, yeah so we can let's yeah actually that I'm not even worried about if, if we get something that we want to jump on I think everybody can meet for you know 10 minutes and right. mm -hmm. move forward on that so that's great um, okay so I think we're all pretty much in agreement on that uh, now the new business I sent out uh, the, the year and the year calendar and I highlighted the dates we are supposed to meet and I was wondering what would you yeah, like that's, that's nice yeah a, is there any I like how you got the different colors is, is this an inner page that you prefer, Richard? Or I was looking at an inner page that Michigan.gov would use. Okay. Well, we can, we can, we can reference these, in, and if anybody likes certain ones, we can, we can go to it. Okay. If you take a look. Okay. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll get to that. If you, everybody turn, pulls out their calendar, and as it... It's is zero. that in the packet you gave us? Yes. Or? Yes. Hmm. I think it's right after this. And maybe not for you. Okay. Well, you know, I'm not real good at this collating. <laughs> there is all. Oh, okay. It was before it. Okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. No, I'm sorry. Uh, it when I Xerox it, the date we're supposed to meet is like blanked out. So right. Now it's the one. Uh, now, this is June, uh, July. Traditionally, we haven't met, and we can discuss that. But July would be the ninth. Uh, August would be the thirteenth, and a lot of people have expressed an interest in having an earlier meeting. And we want to work around the people that work. And Sharon, you know, I know you're, you've got, uh, what, would it be all right for August if we met early? Would you be available? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. What time in August would you guys want to meet? 4.30, 5 o'clock? What, what would be good? That's fine. And even for me, 5 o'clock, even during the, the school year is okay for me. Oh, by by five, I could be here. Yeah. Okay. Is is five good for everybody then? Yes. Right now, we can always change it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, why don't we? For now. Yeah. You know, for now, why don't we go with our meetings are going to be at five o'clock. Uh, and and um, if there's a problem, we'll let us know. We can reschedule. But that way, we've got a time that is a little more agreeable to everybody. And everybody seemed to really like that one we did. That yeah, that was nice. great. <laughs> it was, yeah, you know, that you know, was very nice. Good. Doesn't no 7 a.m. Really meetings? What? No 7 a.m. <laughs> no, no, no. No, we didn't have a 7 a.m. meeting. We won't discuss that. <laughs> I'm not at my best. So are, are we meeting Are we meeting in July? Uh, let's vote. Uh, does everybody uh, feel we need a break for July? Because we we'll probably have a little quickie special meeting. Yeah, I think as long as everything's progressing with the website and you yeah. feel comfortable, right. and if we need to call a special meeting, I... Because I know that actually I will not be in town yeah, that week. I, so okay. That I do know already. Well, that sounds like we're not going to have it's a forum. So right. July, July is vacation time. Okay. Well, that just, sounds extremely good. Good. That's great. And, and we should have a break. And we're, we're going to be working on our own. So we've got that. We're now at 5 p.m. for all of our audience. If you're interested in coming we welcome you and but you'll be coming a little earlier so that's great we've got that done I, that have, a, I have a quick question certainly how, how does that go with the um, cable department supervisor and the camera crew um, Ted do you think that will work if we meet oh, at five excellent point we are extremely flexible <laughs> <laughs> well even I, better. I may not look like it, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's great. Well, I think uh, that that's a, a big move forward, and um, I will post these all to um, the deputy clerk so she knows our new agenda. And I think we're supposed to do it on an annual basis, as Jerry pointed out. And I think that's a it's a good thing. Then there's no wondering when our meetings are. We've got them all set up. All righty. Um, now. Da -da -da. Uh, the discussion regarding um, the uniform video service local franchise agreements for GI Township cable providers. Mr. Fournier, would you please discuss this uh, uh, item? Um, I'd like to title this the exercise in futility. Um, due to the franchise agreement in 2006, there's no longer individual negotiations between townships, villages, Hamels, little coves 
the state has a franchise. So basically this is a formality. AT&T, um, we have an agreement basically. They can do basically whatever they want. They can put the equipment on right-of-ways and they, they, you know, they don't have to get permission and they can wire whatever they want to wire out. They can cluster 10 homes and then not do the next neighborhood, whatever's, whatever makes them money. The advantage to us is that we get 7% for the franchise fee. Um, and basically that's because we have to provide the equipment to send them the signal. We paid, uh, um, I think around $5,000 for the uh, encoder to send them the signal. So the previous board voted to instead of the 5% franchise fee to take 2% extra, which was the maximum option. And uh, everything else will stay the same. They they do, do not provide us with a return feed. If we want a return feed to monitor what's going on at, uh, on AT&T, we have to pay for it. We'd have to pay for the cable into the, to the township, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so basically, this is just a formality. It's five years. It goes to 2019, and in 2019, we'll sign the same agreement. So basically, they're looking for our approval, and if they don't get it... <laughs> it's a, our approval of what they got the Michigan House to pass. Yeah. So... <laughs> Does everybody kind of understand that we really have no authority on this, except yeah. they want something from us to say we've approved it? The WOW agreement is just a continuation of the last 15 years franchise agreement that we had with them. I had technically, it's a technical technicality again because technically there are no franchise agreements. Right. Um, but we've been operating for the last since well, actually eight years on a handshake with them. They we you know we called them up and said well, what's going to happen? They said we're just going to keep it the same. So. We get 5% of the franchise fee from WOW, and we're going to continue to get 5%. The, both okay. of these have been reviewed by our attorney, Mr. Assorti, so, mm -hmm. uh, and his recommendation is that we sign them and continue. Okay. Um, Comcast will be coming down the pike probably next year, but it's so up in the air right now yeah. based on... Uh, Time Warner and Comcast agreeing and Comcast agreeing with Charter mm -hmm. to manage the uh, state of Michigan for Comcast and there's going to be 25 to 33 percent transfer of ownership from Comcast to Charter. The only the only advantage and it'll be five percent again the only advantage I really see is that uh, I, I don't know anything about the Charter management style but the people I've talked to that have charter are very happy with it. And to be honest with you, the J.D. Power ratings has Comcast as the, the on the bottom of, uh, of their, I don't want to use the worst word, but <laughs> they're pretty close to worst uh, on service provided to customers and customer dissatisfaction. So we so might, it might be a good thing. They, you, yeah, the management style and in their policies, um, might improve. Comcast will still own the majority of the Michigan franchises, but 25 to 33 percent will be to charter, and charter will be managing. They're reallocating the the territories, and they're clustering them. If I think that was the word you used. Well, clustering is they the cable companies have clustered for years. Years ago, there were you know there was Wayne and there's all kinds of little mm -hmm. bright house and stuff around the area, and what happened is. Comcast and Time Warner and Comcast and Bright House, they traded franchise. For instance, if, if um, a community like uh, Dearborn Heights had Continental Cable and they traded that Continental Cable, you know, they clustered somewhere else and Comcast took over that area, but they got maybe something in Dubuque, Iowa. Yeah. You know, so they clustered Monopoly so it was six. easier mm -hmm. to wire and manage. So they've been clustering for years. Um, um, basically, they're doing it on a bigger, um, bigger scope. scope. But the real reason they're doing it is because by giving charter ownership of Michigan, it's it's giving the appearance of let, of uh, not being a monopoly. 
Yeah, no, that's the whole it's, it's the bottom putting, line. It's right. putting a dress on monopolies. So, but since go ahead, no, since that's not really what we're our issue tonight. Our yeah. issue is just to renew, even though we don't really have an option. Well, the advantage to the township is that seven percent of the fees that uh, the AT and T customer pays on the island come to us, and five percent. Um, of wow's fees come to us and that's part in and, and uh, I don't have the exact figures but over the course of the years the last year or two uh, the total franchise fees from all the companies has now gone over 200,000 yes. so thank God for kids just sitting home watching television it's really <laughs> paying off in the long run. Thank you so does anybody else have any questions? Go ahead. Yeah um, Ted I just need you to Don't you get more and all? I know. She's, I know. Like, she's addressed <laughs> that with me about six times. I, I know. I hate these and she'll be things, she'll be on me tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, it, it, you you've clarified part of it. Um, Grossio gets seven percent of the franchise fees from AT and T, and we get five percent from Wow. Right. And five percent from Comcast. Right. All right. I just wanted to make sure I had the numbers right. Also, I think if you remember way back, we used to get. The computer fees too, yep. but I think all three or all four, uh, the, the state rule that that doesn't have to be part. We're just well, the fees are just the cable television fees. They're not phone and they're not the uh, computer services. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Could I have a motion, please, to approve the um, franchise agreements with Wall and AT and T? Sure, I'll make a motion to approve the Uniform Video Service Local Franchise Agreement for GA Township Cable Providers. And I'll second it. Richard seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. And the motion passed. Well, that's that's good. I'll report that in tomorrow. And I know that was a, one of those little things that had to be taken care of. Okay. Uh, we did talk about, you know, the Wi-Fi thing. I'm still digging into that. It's... I think it's gonna. It's gaining um, steam. Let's leave it at that. People are starting to think more positively about it, so we'll go from there. And our next commission meeting will be August thirteenth, thirteenth instead of July, August, as we will be taking July off. And we have no visitors, so there is no public comment. And do I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. I second it. And we are adjourned. Yay. Yay. Well, that was record time. Who blinked?